What's up? It's Cross. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be teaching the two uh, helium zippers that he's famous for. And now these, uh, I'm pretty sure he came up with both of these, but I'm not completely sure about that. And they're, they both require you to breathe in. And I'm going to start with the, um, the helium lip zipper. That one. And this is a little bit, it's not, I don't think it's that hard to learn, but it's kind of hard to do in beats or to implement it into a rhythm or something like that or into a routine. But uh, it, it sounds pretty cool nonetheless. And so basically what you want to do to learn this zipper, and it is a breathing in zipper like I mentioned, what you want to do is, uh, so spread your lips, have your teeth closed, closed against each other, like clenched, and spread your lips kind of like a, like a weird smile, like that kind of be spread against your teeth. Or if you know how to do uh, lip oscillations, anything like that. And so, and what you want to do, I don't think you can do it in the center of your teeth. Maybe you can, but you want to move it to one side. Uh, it can be any side, doesn't matter which, just whatever you prefer. You take it move it kind of to the side, right? It kind of looks like a weird grin. And you're gonna to wanna to press it against your teeth and have it closed, but not closed tightly so you can still breathe in through it. And just play around with it a little bit until you get it. And I mean, it might be easy for some people, might be hard for others. It was pretty easy for me. Uh, it didn't take me that long to learn. It did take a little bit of practice to be able to do it reliably though. And okay, so now that that's down, uh, the second zipper is, I'd say easier to learn, but I guess that's subjective. So the second zipper is the tongue and lip zipper, like. <laughs> Now the zipper is a lot easier to use in beats. Uh, if you've ever listened to Helium do any of his technical stuff, he does, you'll probably hear like, <laughs> stuff like that. And he kind of replaces a peke with it instead of, <laughs> instead of that, he goes. <laughs> so it's a pretty useful zipper. And with the zipper, you're also breathing in uh, with your lungs. So what you want to do is you want to curl your top lip, top lip over your teeth, like over your top teeth. So it comes uh, down and under. And I don't think you can do it in the center. I mean, maybe some people can, but he does it on the side. I do it on the side. It's a lot easier to do on the side. So curl your tongue and then kind of, or not curl your tongue, curl your lip over your teeth and kind of focus it on one side. doesn't matter which side. And once you have that, once you have that down, um, move your tongue so it's uh, connecting with your lip as it comes down and under your teeth. Like that. And you want to seal off all the air with your tongue as you do this. And then breathe in, like. Now it's it's pretty easy to do, pretty easy to learn. Uh, I don't really use it in my beats, but I know how to do it. And I know that a lot of people want to know how to do the helium zippers because, I mean, well, nobody does them like helium does, but they're pretty neat nonetheless. And they're a lot more notable zippers than a lot of other zippers used in the community. So I uh, hope this video helped. Um, you probably won't get these right away, but I mean, some of you probably will. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see any other sounds that I can teach because I know a lot of beatbox sounds and I wouldn't have a problem with teaching any of them. So don't be afraid to like and comment, you know, typical stuff, subscribe. I'm not exactly big on this YouTube account, but I like to do tutorials on it. So if it helps, then I'll keep doing it. See ya.